my name's Scott, Scott Pickle, long time professional in the animation, mostly animation business. I had spent some time in California with Disney and Pixar, I spent some time in so mostly all feature animation work, some feature, some TV. Also, I've taught a lot at Sheridan College. I'm a bit of an animation dinosaur, I've been around since uh, before the stage. I also taught at Sheridan. You know, 40 years uh, uh, experience in all facets of the business, I've done a little bit of animation, a lot of layout, uh, uh, design, you know, production design, uh, a storyboarding, a little bit of background painting, a little bit of animation, a little bit of directing, a little bit of everything. We, we were roommates in, at Disney uh, with Scott. I worked in a lot of different television studios. Yeah, good drawing. There's some very solid stuff going on in there. The head, the eyes, the nose, the circles in the hat. I would recommend three things. One is he's got a sort of an earring. He's got a half moon earring, right? It, is that, is that what I'm seeing there? Oh, that's the bird's feather, I believe. It took me a while to figure out it's a bird. It's true. There's, 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 a, there's a little bit of a tangent there with the feather against the characters. The other thing I recommend is is uh, uh, you have him raise one shoulder just because there's a little tangent here and it's a little bit awkward. Either make this feather smaller or very much bigger because here the ears are, are out a little bit. Here they're flat and behind his head. Here they're on the side of his head and here. So so it just, it's a, a little bit, makes a little bit of an unclear, incomplete rotation. Otherwise, it's, I think it's fine. The other thing I would do is I would just, this belt, I would just curve it up a little bit. Give him just a little bit, you know, have the pants go up and just start a little bit of a curve. The pants take the shape of his buttocks. That's, that's the only thing. Yes, it's a destroyed civilization, but you've deconstructed it too much, and that's hampering some of the the readability. You've got too many cracks in the columns, is what I would say. As a result, you know, yeah, like those upright columns and that. I'm talking about that uh, structure that's kind of on just on the left of the left of center. It starts to sort of like lose its uh, structure. My criticism here is that you've used your imagination, and I think that's a mistake. I'm going to say what I always say, young people are not creative. I speak as a former young person myself. And once upon a time, someone told me that, you know, what's the first thing you can do right away to, to make this work? Look at some pictures of Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat is a overgrown city and it's got everything that you need. But just, just look up Angkor Wat or look at, you look at Indonesian temples or Indian temples or look at Egyptian temples because they have a specific look to them. You know, go to, to Google and uh, and look up Saturn. You know, one of the things that when you're in high school, you're young people, you can do anything. You're also original, but never copy, be creative. And that's so unfair because you're not original because how can you be? You haven't experienced very much. You haven't seen very much. You don't know how much it is. So that's unfair. And then they say, don't copy. You know, you, you haven't seen stuff. How can you copy with, how can you do anything without reference? No one hands you a violin and says, just don't look at any sheet music, make up the music. No one tells you that. You're, you're an artist, you've got to start to, so, so this is, you, you have a facility for drawing, now match that facility with a capacity for research. If you research, then you'll say, aha, so that's how buildings fall apart when they're ancient. And then once you've done it enough times of familiar stuff that you've researched, then you develop a prop house in your head. And only then do you start to be creative. Analyze, synthesize, internalize, improvise. That's how it works. Because I can see you've got a good capacity for drawing. You know, like you can draw, you can sort a pencil. And if you match that with some reference, boy, oh boy, I think you'll really fly.